Just get some opening comments about third round today. Difficulty the course played? Uh, probably sounds like every other guy coming up here. It, I mean, it was a grind out there. It, the place was, was playing super, super difficult. The wind was whipping, and it was changing directions. And when you have to be as precise as you have to be on this golf course, the the little wind changes make a huge difference. And so uh, it was a grind. And like I've told a few people, a few have told me I wasn't going to shoot over par, and I didn't have to to play, I would have taken it and, and not touched the club today. So Billy just called it awesome golf. What's your take there? Yeah, I mean, I, I just heard what you're saying. We all love it. You know, it's 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 a grind, uh, but we don't. I I kind of think we don't get this enough on the PJ Tour, uh, and so I think that's part of why we we like it when we do get it. Uh, it's nice to not have a, a week of a birdie fest, and and you know, you you got to be playing, you know your best golf to have a chance you can't fake it at all and so um it, it's it's a grind it's it's a wear on you mentally uh but it's you know you got to enjoy it yeah so uh where i play back home uh oak tree national the head pro um or sorry the the gm of the place uh tom jones is his name he played on pj tour back in i mean in arnie's day and uh, he's a little younger than Arnie, but I think he was on the tour like late 70s. And uh, we were talking about this golf course uh, last week, and, and he goes, hey, can you imagine hitting driver into 17? And I was like, nope. And he goes, because we had to do that sometimes whenever the wind would get whipping. He goes, everyone was so frustrated with Arnie at the time, how he built the course, because the par threes were brutal, and he was you know, one of the best long iron players to ever live, right? And so he's, Tom was like, everyone would come in and be like, Arnie, would you give us a break on the par threes here? Um, so, no, it's special. You know, I mean, obviously – He's synonymous with with golf, so it's it's a special place to be able to, you know, be in contention. You know that cliche U.S. Open conditions. You hear it said quite a bit, but does it apply? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's exactly what you think of when you think of U.S. Open: firm, fast, thick, rough. I mean, if you're not in the fairway, more often than not, you're not able to knock on the green. You got to kind of pitch out. So it's uh, it's it's going to expose any weak shot, plain and simple. And last thing, Scotty Shuffler said that he felt like he was still in it. He was eight back, playing two some hours after the leaders, and he's right there now. Oh yeah. Um, what do you think tomorrow? I mean, how many guys are in this thing? You think? I mean, I think if you're under par going into tomorrow, you got a chance. I mean, and anything can happen, and it's easy for the guys that are in the lead or near the lead to to go shoot, you know, five six over. Like, I mean, really easy to go do that. That's not. That's not. Like just because we're playing good golf, we can't go do that. This this course will expose you really quick. So, yeah, I mean, if you're on the par, you got a chance. I don't know how many guys are on the par, but if you're on the par, I think you got a chance tomorrow. Good. Thank you. Thanks, man. Good luck.